Space exploration is one of the few remaining frontiers that humans plan on conquering in order to gain more understanding about the secrets held by our planet and our universe. The previous decades have witnessed Mars as the center of attention for being a potential habitant for our future population. This has led to the question, which African country has the highest probability of going to Mars in the foreseeable future? The 19 African countries you see on the screen right now already have invested on their own space programs and many more African countries have also voiced their commitment to follow suit with their own space programs. You might be asking yourself, why would Africa invest in space right now? The reality is that space is far more attainable now more than ever before. This is due to technological advances and innovations that have led to the decrease in the prices. The African Union has established an African Space Agency which is located in Egypt. So in this video, I'm going to select the top three countries which have the highest probability based on the recent developments in their space programs and the willingness of the government or the allocation of funds to science and technology by the country's government. At number three, it's Egypt. Egypt has nine satellites of their own. The first of which was launched in 1998. The satellite is used for ground analysis, mainly for agricultural purposes in the Nile region. They observe the country's mainland and coastal lines by taking high resolution pictures of the land for environmental and scientific purposes. It's important to remember that Egypt has the first African institution to launch communication satellites to space. They currently also have an astronaut program of which they have already started selecting applicants. There has been certain interest for Mars exploration by the Egyptian scientific community. This has been displayed by one of the competitions where the objection of the competition was to select buildings as part of an Egyptian settlement complex on Mars. The proposed design was supposed to reflect Egyptian culture. The competitors were required to propose the settlement complex, including residential, educational and medical units. At number two, it's Nigeria. Nigeria is already the largest economy in Africa. It has a highly advanced space program owned by its own agency, which is the National Space Research and Development Agency, which was established in 2001. The West African nation has so far launched five self-made satellites that are used for various tasks, including performing environmental and scientific studies in the Niger Delta and locating terrorists from the region's terror groups. Nigeria's first telecommunication satellites known as NICOM Set 13 was launched in May 2007 and was designed to offer phone, telephone and internet coverage across West Africa. It was replaced by a more advanced NICOM Comset 1R, which was launched in December 2011. Nigeria has announced plans to send astronauts to space by 2030 as part of its drive to develop a world class space industry. These plans, together with the country's fast growing economy, could give it the power and the technological prowess to develop a complex Mars program. At number one, it's South Africa. South Africa is the country which has the highest probability of going to Mars 
in the African continent. Since 2010, South Africa has its own space agency called the South African National Space Agency, whose mandate is to utilize data acquired from local and international satellites in order to advert natural disasters like drought and to perform scientific exploration. In fact, South Africa has the largest and the most active space technology on the continent. The program is funded by both government and private entities, and it utilizes several satellites to remote sense potential disasters as well as carry out environmental studies. South Africa is the first African country to have real astronauts. On top of this, it has the square kilometer array, which will be the largest and the most powerful telescope on Earth when it becomes fully online. South Africa has partnered with NASA to develop a deep space ground station which will support missions to Mars. Cabinet has already approved the partnership between the South African Space Agency and NASA to host this deep space ground station. The station will benefit South Africa in, amongst others, the development of skills, the growth of science, engineering, technology, and innovation sector. What do you think about this list? Is there a country which I have missed which should have been in the top three? Also, there are other discussions which are asking the question, should Africa be focusing on complex space programs when they should be focusing on other problems that the continent is facing? What do you think about the statement? Please comment below. I'd like to hear what you have to say. This is the end of the video. Thanks for listening. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.